this video we are playing Find the Animals. So this I actually found off Total Drama, which is another game that I have played. Uh, so this is from the same developer. And I must say, I absolutely love, love, love these characters. They are so sweet and so cute and so adorable. I've literally found some and gone, aww. <laughs> Um, there is an order list available in my video description, but if you do get stuck with any of the animals, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I can ask if you can help to support me by liking this video, drop me a comment, and of course, most importantly, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. This game, the map is a bit simple not my favorite map um but what this game does have is a boatload of potential absolutely love the hidden objects like the buttons um, and the little teleports so in the updates for this game please do some more stuff in the vein of that uh, the islands in the map, I'd like to see a bit more detail to it, it's very simple, uh, but as I said, there is so much potential to this game. This game would appeal, obviously, to any animal lover, um, and maybe the younger players of Roblox, but as somebody who is an avid scavenger hunter and someone who enjoys these games, this has been a really nice game to pass the time, so do give it a try if you have a moment. So in the kind of sea area, I don't know what that Robux coin does. Um, there's no instructions apart from you found it. I did have to click the screen to get rid of it before I could move. Um, if you know what that Robux coin does, can you leave it in the comment? I am quite curious. <laughs> and then because I did such a leap into the water, I did miss the whale, but obviously went back to go and get it. massive fan of these characters i yeah i just absolutely love them in this kind of harbor area do not step on the water there was a couple of glitches with the boat um so when i went onto the dock to get on it i was catapulted forward for some reason uh, i was also catapulted back i did jump on some of the rocks and ended up dying anyway uh, the only little hint I could give is not to have you sprint on when you get off the boat um, and onto the kind of rocks. It worked for me, but you can play it however you want. And then for the kind of jump pad up, you just need to try and hit that rope. So you do need a key to go and get beaver. This, I, <laughs> I missed it. I couldn't believe I missed it. Um, and it seemed really obvious when I found it and I could have kicked myself uh, that I didn't see it sooner but this will be at the end of my video and what I absolutely love can you see the paw prints in the water that is such a little lovely feature I know it's not sort of realistic but I love that it's all themed into the animal theme it was much quicker for me to die than try and get back onto the ship because I do have to do the lighthouse to the right now. There is a double jump available as well for free, um, so make use of it for some of the obby if you want to. Quite surprised that wasn't a seagull at the top of the lighthouse. I wouldn't naturally think sea and dove, but not a problem. I also probably would have put the lizard in the desert. <laughs> Again, you can see the paw prints in the sand. It's just really nice. I really like it. It's a really sweet game. You know what would make this so much better is if those animals were 3d like proper little animals that would just really top it off and then to make it like really really good if i could morph into it because 
that tiger tigers are my favorite animal ever um, and so I would love to be that little cute tiger running around getting all the other animals and what find the game isn't a find the game without a maze because I just love mazes so much although luckily if you do have a good memory you can climb on top and have a look where the character is in order to find your way there but nice and easy we have found the snake And then what you will also need to do um, is you also have one around the outside of the maze so it's actually to the right so you don't need to follow me down here you can just go to the right of the maze and you will find lion not sure why the lion has got headphones on it's the only one with an accessory <laughs> there was an apple tree and I missed the one behind the bush but this will take us through to horse we have rhino at a farm <laughs> I'm sort of thinking, you know, the African plains kind of thing, not, not your local farm. <laughs> um, might want to change the placements of some of these. Love the scripting of the barn door opening up, that's really, really nice. Quite surprised there wasn't anything in the barn building, but I have been in this barn before. Um, so this is obviously replicating, I think it's Find the Family Guys, so not sure if this is a developer of that game as well. Um, really sneaky button, so I was like, oh, I'm such a noob, I fell off. But I think everything happens for a reason and I was meant to fall off to find that button to go and get rat. <laughs> so that was a bit of a lucky find. I hate spiders but that one is pretty cute I still wouldn't want to see it because it has ten legs and not eight <laughs> um, a spider only has eight legs <laughs> just need to change the graphic <laughs> that is a sort of mutant spider <laughs> I do wonder how many people have climbed this silo expecting a carrot to be inside and yet when we've gone there it was there, there was nothing there. Um, this may be something to check in an update but at the moment there is nothing inside. And this was another weird clue as well so you've got the bone but then you click on it and you get taken through to elephant um if i think bone i think dog not elephant <laughs> so again it's that placement and the kind of link to the teleport i'm not sure i got horse and apple but not bone and elephant so the first time that i came over to the village this is what I was presented with and I was like oh I've got to do a long jump to go and get onto the platform and then there was just nothing um, I ended up falling off and um, the second time that I tried it I did actually hit a platform of some sort so I was thinking oh you know you've got a, an invisible platform and then you jump onto the orange platform and it's 
takes you over. This was just a nightmare. So I did actually get frustrated, I left the game and then rejoined and then the second platform appeared. So if you do have a bug where you only see one platform for the village, leave and try and get on a server where both the platforms are working. This may be a bug that could have been fixed or it might just be a glitch. So where the frog area is you will end up going slightly slower so you may just need to knock your sprint on and off to get that fastness again. These these characters are seriously overload cuteness. There's a random football um, in the back of the village so I'm not sure if that also may be a teleport in the future so something to make note of um, for an update perhaps. This house reminds me of the Julia Donaldson book, A Squash and a Squeeze. Uh, but we do have the button to a seriously cute little hamster with all of his little food looks. Oh, I love it! It is seriously cuteness overload for me. They are just adorable. I want to adopt them all. <laughs> we have Nemo um, by the waterfall. And then for the last one, um, this is the key that I said was so obvious. I ran past it so many times but just didn't see it. And don't forget, if you do submit a comment, not a question, uh, on my YouTube or Roblox, uh, you will get the chance to see yourself featured at the end of one of my videos. And then we can go ahead and collect beaver. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you real soon, hopefully for the next update. Bye.